Hey guys, Multiclass Gamer here, and this is my video game collection. Well, most of it. Uh, I'll show you some others here in a moment. Well, actually, I need to move something real quick. Let me get this started real quick. So, I know people didn't actually ask for this, but, and I, you know, I talked about it in my Q&A video, and I said also I think that I wasn't going to make any more videos as long as I'm in this, in this apartment. But I'm going to make an exception here because I just, I just felt like doing it because I just want to show you guys what games I have before the move, at least what physical games I have, and also the consoles that I have. So I guess I should start with the, I should start with the consoles, okay. So, um, I have a Nintendo Entertainment System. That's the same one I got back in Christmas of 2009. I showed that to you guys in a review. Super Nintendo, I got this a few years ago at a thrift store for only like 10 or 15 bucks, I think, or 20. Yeah, somewhere around there. It was very cheap and it works perfectly. Um, PlayStation, also got this at a thrift store a few years ago for like, well actually this is back in 2013, 2014. Again, 10 bucks, works perfectly. Over here we have my GameCube. This is the one that I grew up playing. It's the one that you guys first saw in a review of the GameCube back in 2009. Again, perfect condition. And it's even got the Game Boy Player on it, which I will get into later. Uh, Nintendo 64, I got this for Christmas a couple years back. This is how I was able to do my LP of Banjo-Tooie. Uh, PlayStation 4 Pro, I got this for Christmas last year. Pretty awesome. So just, yeah, I've only had it for like a few months, and it's freaking awesome. I love this thing. Uh, over there, I have a PS2. This is not my PS2. I'm borrowing it from a friend. That was because uh, there was a... Uh, I, won't get, I won't go into it. Basically, I was borrowing this for a specific purpose. Hey, guys, I will... You guys will learn about it in the future. But again, this is not my PS2. It's a friend, so I don't currently own a PS2, actually. Above the PS2, we have the Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition, the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, which I'll be using to LP games that I don't currently own. So that's that. There's my Wii over there. Um, I use it only for um, GameCube, like as an alternate way of recording GameCube games. Mostly, I don't really have any files on it otherwise, because I don't know how much longer it's going to last, and literally everything from it has been, you know, moved over to my Wii U, which is right here, that I've had since it since, you know, a month after it launched in 2012, so there's that. Uh, this is my Nintendo Switch. I got this last year, like a month after it launched, I think. So yeah, this is my whole entertainment system right here. Entertainment Center. Um, pay no attention to the TV, I'm just watching NCS videos. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so now let's move on to the game, shall we? Well, actually, it's not all the consoles I have, so... To really show off all the consoles I have, I have to take you over to this dresser here that's built into my apartment, but these are going to be moved to new locations as I move to into the new apartment next month. Or, actually, not next month, like in a week, actually. So inside this this uh, wardrobe, I have some very special old, 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 old stuff. Here, I have, this is the oldest piece of tech I have. This is the Atari Super Pong, circa 1976. Works perfectly. Got it from a retro game store, a few of few weeks back, and I'm very, very happy to own this. I also have an Intellivision, Mattel Electronics Intellivision, so yeah, perfect condition, still works. So those are all the consoles I have, but they're not all the handhelds I have. The handhelds are one drawer up, I do believe, yes, they are. So we open that up. Here we have the original Nintendo Game Boy, the original gray brick from 1989. Here's the Game Boy Pocket, which is an updated version of this that was released in 1996. This is the Game Boy Color. Um, I got this uh, for Christmas. Like a uh, cousin who owned, happened to own one that doesn't use it anymore, so she just gave it to me, which was very nice. Um, but these two I picked up in the last few weeks at a retro game store. Both work perfectly. Game Boy Advance is the one that I grew up playing way back in the day. This is this is also from the same cousin who got me the Game Boy Color. So yeah, there you go. I own two. Original Game Boy Advances. Uh, Game Boy Advance SP, I've also had this since around the time it launched, so there you go. Um, the only thing with the Game Boy Advance SP is that it doesn't work, but that's just because it needs to be charged, and the the AC adapter that I have for it is bent, so I have to get a new one eventually in order to charge it, and then use it again, hopefully, if it does charge. Um, DS Lite, I don't have an original DS, I don't have a Game Boy Micro yet, but otherwise, that's the whole Game Boy line right there. Um, and, well, besides the Game Boy Lite, which is Japan exclusive. But yeah, here's my DS Lite. This is the oldest DS, you know, the oldest of the DS family that I have. But, yeah, got this back in, uh, 2006, I want to say. 2006, 07, I don't know. 
And then you got, as you guys know, back in 2010 during Christmas, I did an unboxing review of the DSi XL. So there's that. I don't have an original DSi. Um, 3DS. So there's that. Yeah. I got this back in 2011 for around my 16th birthday, and as you guys know, the screen is cracked. It's been that way since like a few months after I got it, so I have not played it since then. And now, uh, where, where's my, where is it? Because I know I, I have a 3DS XL. I wanted to show that too. So I don't know what happens to the case, but... And, you know, because it's inside it, but yeah, I uh, don't seem to know where my 3DS XL is, my regular 3DS XL. But, anyways, I have a new 3DS XL right here inside the case. I uh, guess I should take it out real quick, but, you know, just in case you're curious to see the, uh, uh, well, I can't do it one-handed, so I, I'll just I'll just show it to you guys later. Uh, switch, a case for my Nintendo Switch this is the one I use. It's a very basic one, but it works, does the trick. Also inside here... Um, fun little device, the Intellivoice for the Intellivision. Um, I can't seem to get it to work, but I don't know why, because even though the box itself is kind of abused, the, 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 the unit itself, like, it's very clean and unused. I don't know why it doesn't work. My Intellivision's clean too, and I know the games work with it, so. Yeah, I don't know. I really, really don't know. Oh, there it is. Here's my 3DS XL inside the case, but again, yeah, that's set. Okay, now let's take a look at the games. I'm not going to show you too much of my apartment because it's really messy right now. It's only going to get worse as I get closer to move. So up here I have my Yarn Yoshi Amiibos. I have the complete collection of uh, Yarn Yoshis, basically. So eventually when I get around to playing Yoshi's Wooly World, these will actually come in handy for me. Um, also up here I have my Wii Wheels, so nothing special there. Okay, so we're going to start at the very top with the newest system. These are all my Switch games. I have 1-2 Switch, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Splatoon 2, and Su Super Mario Odyssey, and this is Xenoblade Chronicles 2. This is the special edition that I got, so there you go. I might eventually get a regular version, I don't know. Okay, so these are my PS4 games. I only have five of them currently, six if you count the fact that these are actually, well, actually, it's more like eight if you count, yeah, okay, we'll get into that. So we have, first of all, Crash Insane Trilogy, which is technically three games. It's uh, enhanced versions of the first three Crash Bandicoot games. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. Nothing more to say about that, though. It is coming out for Switch pretty soon, so I guess I'll have to get on there as well. Uh, Final Fantasy X and X2 HD Remaster. So that's technically two games right there. I have not dabbled into the Final Fantasy series, but I'm not against collecting them so I can play them in the future. Okami HD, why not? Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. I don't have the original yet, but eventually I will. And Ukulele. I love playing this game. So I finished it, though. And now we get on to the Wii U. Okay. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Epic Mickey 2 The Power of 2. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, yes I own both the Wii U and the Switch version of, the, of that game, don't ask me why. Mario Kart 8, the base version, Mario Party 10, NES Remix Pack, New Super Mario Bros. U, Nintendo Land, Paper Mario Color Splash, Pikmin 3, Splatoon, Super Mario 3D World, Super Mario Maker, Super Smash Bros. for Wii U, Xenoblade Chronicles X, and finally Yoshi's Wooly World. Oh boy. Didn't think I get so tired doing this. Okay. Now, onto the Wii. We have Donkey Kong Country Returns, original Epic Mickey, Game Party 3, yeah. We'll be discuss we'll be showing that off on night we play in the near future. Happy Feet 2, Kirby's Dream Collection, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Kirby's Return to Dreamland. Uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, yeah. Haven't started playing this yet, but I'm very excited to. Mario Kart Wii, okay. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption, Metroid Prime Trilogy, Metroid Other M, New Super Mario Bros., Ninja Redman, SpongeBob Plankton's Robotic Revenge, uh, You Draw SpongeBob Squiggle Pants, uh, SpongeBob's Truth or Square. Oh, wait, no, that's Atlanta Square Pantus, jeez. 
But I also have Truth or Square. And also Boating Bash, right there. Truth or Square. Super Mario All-Stars, unfortunately, it's the Nintendo Selects version, not the original limited edition version, which I've probably never owned, unfortunately. Super Mario Galaxy. Super Mario Galaxy 2. Super Monkey Bob Banana Blitz. Yeah, that'll be fun. Super Paper Mario. Loving that. Can't wait to LP it. Super Smash Bros. Brawl. We play, and obviously now we play multiplayer matches. It's on the way. Don't worry. Uh, we Sports in between that and Xenoblade Chronicles, the original. So I own all the Xenoblade games currently. Okay, now the GameCube one, the probably one that you guys are looking forward to the most because it has expanded quite a bit since I yeah, well, yeah, that's a whole ex whole collection though, but still it is expanding slowly. Barnyard, the one that everyone loves. Uh, cars. Crash Bandicoot the Wrath of Cortex, Crash Tag Team Racing, Donkey Kong Jungle Beat, Donkey Konga, Donkey Konga 2, Fairly Up Parents Breaking the Rules, Flushed Away, Happy Feet, uh, Kirby Air Ride, a recent edition, Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, this is not my copy though, this is actually Corsair Joe's, I'm just borrowing it for the duration of the LP, which is going to be quite a while because I still need to get around back to that. Madagascar, Medal of Honor Frontline, Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, Nicktoons Battle for, Be Battle for Volcano Island, Over the Hedge, Paper Mario, Thousand Year Door, Pikmin, Pikmin 2, Ratatouille, uh, Rocket Power Beach Bandits, Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, Sonic Riders, Spongebob Battle for Wiki Bomb, Spongebob Creature from the Crusty Crab, Spongebob Movie, Spongebob Lights, Camera Pan, Spongebob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, Star Fox Adventures, Super Mario Sunshine, Super, Mar Super Smash Bros. Melee, and surfs up. And now, oh yeah, and also, the GameCube Game Boy Player Startup Disc. Very vital to playing it. And now on to the N64. Alright. Unfortunately, I don't have end labels. That sucks, but oh well. Banjo-Kazooie. Why not? Banjo-Tooie. Also, why not? Uh, Diddy Kong Racing. Looking forward to playing that. Haven't exactly played through it yet. Now we go down here to the final shelf. And finally, Mario Party, the original. Loving it. Looking forward to doing a co-op on, uh, you know, we play. Okay. Now, on to the original PlayStation. <laughs> Bubsy 3D. Would you hate me if I told you I was, this is the first PlayStation game I ever owned? Anyway. Crash Bandicoot, the original. Croc, Legend of the Gobos. Spongebob Super Sponge, one of the first Spongebob games. Spyro, Spyro the Dragon. Spyro 2 Ripto's Rage. Spyro Year of the Dragon. So yes, I have the entire Spyro trilogy, if you could believe it, on PlayStation. Here's my very minuscule Super Nintendo collection, but nevertheless, it's still great games. Yeah, definitely. Mario's Time Machine. <laughs> Star Fox. Tetris and Dr. Mario, and that's literally my entire Super Nintendo collection there. And now we get on to the NES. All right, if I can just wait, put these back real quick. All right, so first of all, 10 Yard Fight, a launch title. Bugs Bunny's Birthday Blowout, a classic ABGN episode one. Donkey Kong 3, Donkey Kong Classics. Dr. Mario, Fester's Quest, with it, like, and it's actually in the box, too, which is really cool. Yeah. This is the only NES box I have, but there you go. Golf, Karate Kid, Kirby's Adventure, Legend of Zelda, Pac-Man, Pinball, Skate or Die, Super Glove Ball, Super Mario Bros., Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario Bros. 3, Super Mario Bros. and Duck Hunt, Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt, and World Class Track Meet, Tetris, Tetris 2, Top Gun, Top Gun the Second Mission, uh, Total Recall, and finally Where's Waldo. There you go, that's my whole NES collection as of now. And now we go into the classics. Uh, well, I guess. Um... First of all, I have, I think, like six games now for Intellivision. 
And they're all classics, so don't you worry. You should probably recognize at least some of these. First of all, we have Bomb Squad, one of the IntelliVoice games. Tron Deadly Discs. Seabow, this was given to me by Corsair Joe. Complete in the box and everything. Freaking awesome. Pitfall, a classic. Again, it's the IntelliVision version, not the Atari 2600 version. Frogger. And finally, Donkey Kong. Oh yeah. And finally, the only Atari 2600 game I have, even though I don't have an Atari 2600 yet. Pac-Man. Yep. That's right, Pac-Man on 2600. Okay, and now, lastly, handhelds. My, the only regular Game Boy game I have, Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle 3. The only Game Boy Color game I have, and you guys are going to love this one. SpongeBob Legend of the Lost Spatula. This is the very first Game Boy game, or no, the first SpongeBob game. The first game to center around the SpongeBob universe. You know, it's not the first game SpongeBob was in, but this is the first one that's about him. Specifically him. Here's my Game Boy Advance collection. I have Crash Nitro Kart, Crash the Huge Adventure, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Yeah, I'll get into that later. SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. And finally, the Game Boy Advance video cartridges, uh, Spongebob, Spongebob 2, and Jimmy Neutron. So yeah, that's currently my game, my video game collection. And now for DS and 3DS, we have uh, 007 Quantum of Solace, Brain Age, Brain Age, Train Your, Your Brain in Minutes a Day, Dogs, Kirby Superstar Ultra, Kung Fu Panda Legendary Warriors, Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass, Legendary Starfy, Mario Kart DS, New Super Mario Bros, Over the Hedge, Plants vs. Zombies, New, uh, Super Mario 64 DS, and Yoshi's Island DS. Um, I do also have Kirby Squeeze Squad, but I don't think my cartridge works anymore, so I'll have to get a new one. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. This is the 3DS collection now. Uh, Mario Kart 7, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Paper Mario Sticker Star, Star Fox 64 3D. Um, Super Mario 3D Land, Super Smash Bros. for 3DS, Ultimate NES Remix Pack, and that's it. So that is basically my whole video game collection. Um, I do have a bunch of, uh, guidebooks and cool books down here. These, these are the DK Bongo drums for, or bongos for GameCube. The only GameCube accessory that I have. But one more thing I want to show you guys. These, these are my accessories that I have. I have a power glove, probably the, one of the best additions to my collection of all time. I mean, how what can what what can I say about it? NES Advantage. Uh, yeah, I got a dog bone controller, a uh, bunch of controllers, <laughs> uh, Super Nintendo Multi Tap, the NES Zapper, Super Nintendo controller. Okay, sorry, the the camera kind of cut out there. But anyways, yeah, it's pretty much my whole collection. I got, I also got the U-Draw tablet because you need that for the SpongeBob Squiggle Pants game. But yeah, so that is basically pretty much my whole collection as of now. Before moving into the new apartment, it's gonna, and like I said, it's gonna continue to expand as I get more into video game collecting. But you know, I'm going to kind of take things kind of slow, especially in the near future, because I'm kind of. Because of this whole, you know, collecting craze, I've been kind of um, going a little too crazy on it, so I really need to take a break, especially with the move coming up. It's just, you know, it's just a financial burden to continue video game collecting while trying to move at the same time. So, you know, it's just, uh, I just really need to, to hold back, you know, quit with the the whole crazy video game collecting thing, so. Um, in the meantime, that's all I have to show you guys for today, so thank you so much for watching, and this is the last time you'll see me, at least until after my move, so. Yeah, it's going to be a few weeks, probably at least. So, see you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.